Welcome back. So, uh, first of all, I did uh, cycle the gear on the ground, um, and you'll see that later in this video, but I know you're wanting to see it back in the air and see it cycling there, so let's have a look at that first. And also, my camera that I have on the uh, left-hand side of the aircraft um, didn't uh, start recording when I turned on record from the remote uh, controller, so I don't have that camera, unfortunately, on this run. And as you can see there, I have a tablet, or I have my iPad there on the panel as well, next to the other one. And I've got it hooked up to that right wing camera there, so I can actually see in real time uh, what's happening there for uh, the gear. So as you could tell, the purpose of this flight was to retract the gear. So let's see how that all plays out. And I'm also, you know, suspect about having uh, some instability with the wheel wells now exposed, so I'm just aware for that. And came off and it felt about the same as it's felt on the last couple of flights when the wheel well's been covered. And as you can see there, those telltales weren't doing anything weird. So maybe a little bit of rocking going on. Also too, the temperature gauge here. That, that uh, temperature gauge is only showing right now the way I had it set on the one side um, of the top right corner and it's, it's uh, toggling between the two temperature sensors. And now I have one on the top of the intercooler and the other one on the bottom. So I'm getting the delta coming across the two. So when you see it changing numbers, it's showing you one the temp on the bottom. So they're 180, 181, and then 165. So the temperature on the bottom where the hot coolant's coming in is 180, and coming out the top it's 165. So I'm getting a 15 degree drop in temperature um, with the air that's running through that. So that's actually working pretty good there. And I'm just going to stop this real quick right here. If you have a look there at the straight transition, you'll see one of those telltales there has sort of come detached. So this may be time to start thinking about the uh, Vortilons there on the wing. I'm getting a little bit of oscillation now. I'm not sure if it's pilot induced or gusty wind. And this camera was doing something a bit weird here. Um, not sure why all of a sudden it was uh, doing that, but. I'm thinking about putting the Vortilons on the leading edge of the wing there like uh, all the Velocities have. Um, certainly not going to hurt, I'm just going to have to fabricate those, it's going to be a little bit tricky to do without uh, all the stuff that I need to you know, do composite work. And as you'll see here I came up on another bird and he just zipped on by there. I think he was surprised to see me scoot by him on the left. Yeah, so I didn't notice anything um, with respect to pitch changes or anything like that when the gear came up. Um, it was all very um, benign, didn't hear anything, uh, looked at the camera and I could see the gears up, looked at my indication lights, I had uh, three uh, blue lights which means the gears up. And there's a temperature there now that I've leveled out there, 183 and 205, so I'm getting a, a uh, 22 degree um, cooling there on that which is pretty decent. And here I accelerate a little bit, see I got up to about 144. Uh, but I was only full power just for a second there and I backed off again because I was thinking, oh, I, I need to slow down here again soon, put the gear down and get ready for landing. So I really didn't have much of a chance there and I didn't even dial the prop back at all. And gear coming down. And same with the gear down, as you can see, it doesn't affect the pitch attitude at all. Be green. Got my three green and I was looking at my tablet and I could see the gear was down because I can see all three. 
wheels there. Just that same view that we're looking at right then. It was a little bit long on my downwind here because of that. And my pattern was a bit wide. So 192 against 210, so I'm still getting uh, you know, 18 degree temperature drop coming across that intercooler, which is good. Yeah, there was four birds there, one of them dropped out of formation, the other three went scooting on by. And you can see with respect to the stability, I honest, honestly don't think those wheel wells are really having any effect at all now that I have those telltales. I'm going to put a few more behind the wheel wells there, but the ones that you can see behind there aren't really doing anything weird. And even the ones that are trailing into it on the front edge there aren't doing anything weird there. They look quite normal. You know, definitely low on the approach here. I had four uh, reds on the uh, happy lights there. I'm kind of still, you know, trying to gauge my approach speeds and, uh, and the, you know, landing uh, profile here. And you'll see here on this one, I dragged it out, dragged my touchdown out a little bit too long and got a little bit slow again. And you'll see the four plane was coming into the stall again. It got a little bit. Um, squirrely right before I touch down, as you'll see here. Yeah, I was probably over controlling a little bit too, but I will get it dialed in. The last two were better than that, but nothing really bad. So I was pretty happy with that, and uh, temperatures got to about 245, I think it was, on the oil, and the coolant temperature was just over 200. So um, now that I've done the gear retraction, the next flight is going to be uh, retracting the gear uh, once I have a positive rate, and then probably fly around the pattern a couple of times uh, at the lower power setting and see where everything stabilizes with respect to temperatures. And there you can see, once I'm on the ground there, that thing's warmer, 208. So this is what I end up doing there. I've basically taken those two sensors, one going high and the other one going low. So I'm capturing the extremes of the intercooler. And normally it's gonna look uh, like this where I have the, on the right hand side, the lower temperature there, the bottom temperature will be the coolant coming in and the top temperature will be the coolant coming out. So normally it'll be higher number on the bottom. And here's where I was testing the gear. I did it about 10 different times and also did it with a gear dump and uh, overall you know everything was good so again that's how it looks like in the air and then coming down pretty much a non-event and that's how you want it to be I guess. So that's the update. Thanks again for watching and tune in again for the next one. Cheers.